It's fun to listen to Creed and be like, I'm six feet from the edge. <laughs> I've always liked that because it sounds like he's literally just standing next to the ledge and describing it. It's and like, taking a shit off it. <laughs> Hey you, welcome back to Gave Me The Know You. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Let me tell you a tale about, about a tales. boy named Tails. <laughs> so, um, while we while we were gone, um, Tails got himself into a sticky wicket with Eggman here. And we're just getting some rings. <sighs> so weird, these levels. I like these levels, though. Yeah. I like them okay. I wish that they made levels where Tails wasn't, like, in a robot, you know? Because yeah. I feel like I'm not... He could really, easily not be in the road. Yeah. Sometimes I just want I'd rather whip Dr. Eggman with my tails instead. <laughs> whip your tails back and forth? <laughs> I'll whip my tails back and forth. <laughs> that should be a flash animation for sure. Oh, jeez. I bet it exists. <laughs> it has to. <laughs> wow, that was so fast. Yeah. Dang. I think we have to do a level with him now, though. Yeah. Um... But, yeah, because I liked being Tails out of the mech thing in the first Sonic Adventure. <laughs> There's a lot of sexual tension here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Dr. Eggman doesn't enjoy being called Eggman? Do you think it's kind of like his, his um, not. middle school nickname that he doesn't like? That's probably what happened. I think there, there was, like, a Sonic show... Or like, I think he expressed that he didn't like being called that or whatever. <laughs> he always refers to himself as Doctor Robotnik. Ger yeah, Gerald. yeah. Actually, but no, Gerald Robotnik was his father. Which, you're sorry, right. spoiler, you're right. spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm so glad, so glad you corrected me on that. His name is Ivo. That's right. Ivo. Doctor really? Ivo Robotnik. Ivo? I think so. What a cool name. I'm gonna name my son that. I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, don't, do, don't do that. <laughs> hey, Dad, what, what's what? Why'd you name me Ivo? Oh, <laughs> just holds up a picture of that man. <laughs> don't say anything else. This is you. <laughs> and then scream. <laughs> this is you. This is who I Why? wanted to be. <laughs> Why can't you be him? <laughs> what a weird. What a weird thing. <laughs> It's so like, of all the things you would want your child to grow oh, up to be, why would you want it to be the fictional villain oh, of gosh. It's like the Chuck. Tremendous. Um, Every, like, picture you have with your son, you just have Dr. Egg Eggman's face replaced on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And, like... So terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, like, have the dog in the background as, like, Sonic. And you just imagine this, this is my This is my real family. <laughs> <laughs> the wife is like someone it shouldn't like someone really strange oh like god um big the cat <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> big the cat as your wife <laughs> oh, oh man. geez that would be oh, man. amazing be awful but yeah speaking of eggman and his weird nicknames what are the did you ever have any odd or uh, uh, nicknames you weren't very fond of? Nicknames? I can't think of anything. I, you know, I to don't do with your name. Yeah, I don't know if. Hmm. I don't know if I ever had like a nickname that like I didn't like. Actually, I don't even know if I remember like having like <laughs> a, nickname a nickname in general. Yeah. Yeah. I don't and like I don't I don't know a lot of people that like went by nicknames. Yeah, me either. neither. I, I Which is have weird. Like I feel like I should like, you know that there, I should know people that have that go by their <laughs> nicknames, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Did you? Not really. I have a thing with nicknames. Like, I like. I'm okay with nicknames if um, if they're like just something to do with your name. But I'm yeah. always confused if someone has a nickname that's like, a thing. Yeah. Or like a verb. Like if someone's like, "Hi, I go by Orange Juice," and you're like, "Oh, oh, really? Uh, why? Why? Why is and that? Like, oh, Do I want to ask?" It's a long story. <laughs> Just you can call me that though. It's kind of like, well, I, I don't want to if I don't know why. <laughs> That's always kind of frustrating to me if that happens. Um, like, hey, my name is James, but people go. But I go buy Tanimals, you play yogurt. <laughs> Just like, whoa, 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 slow down. 
<laughs> Danimals, eh? Danimals. <laughs> His name's his name's Steve. It's not even Dan. Like if your name was Dan and you went by Danimal, okay. that would be at least that'd be good. That's kind of like that's what I mean by like if it has to do with your name. Yeah, already, but if it's I something that's it. just like totally not like close to your name. Oh, yo, get the oh <laughs> damn it, man! I remember always being so disappointed when that would happen. Like oh there we go. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, and it's gone. Yeah. Speaking of Danimal's yogurt, that's the only time I got lost in a grocery store was because of Danimal's yogurt. Really. So that's some brand awareness success. Yeah. <laughs> because what happened was I had seen, oh Jesus. I had seen the commercial for Danimals and like, do you remember the Danimals commercials? It kind of, it, there was like a monkey and a polar bear and yeah, like some there other was, crazy shit happening. Yeah, basically a lot of sweet illustrations of some cool ass animals. <laughs> <laughs> and I, um, I saw those commercials and I was super pumped. So like, as soon as I got to the grocery store that day, I was like, I just took off and like was like, I'm gonna go find the Danimals yogurt, <laughs> and I couldn't. So, I like, but as soon as I realized I couldn't find it, I uh, I couldn't find my mom either. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> so I was like, oh, um, what do I do? But I don't. I remember not like freaking out or anything, but just being like, well, I guess I'll go look for her and kind of like walking around and then like. Two seconds later, like I was maybe lost for maybe like thirty seconds, and then like I just heard my mom like, Sam, Sam, <laughs> Sam, oh Jesus! The animal animals are holding her hostage. <laughs> <laughs> There's this like this bear. You look smiling. back and you find the yogurt, and the animals aren't on it. <laughs> They've come to life. This is what happens when you run. <laughs> oh man, this Gro is, grocery this store is... horror stories. Did you ever get lost in a grocery store? Yeah. I don't think I remember like any spe specific stories. I've never oh, actually. It was I've, I've just that frequent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if it's been like because you know you hear about kids that get lost in grocery stores and it like sometimes turns out to be a big deal. It's like they really like can't find like their mom or whatever. Yeah. And it's like they have to like go to the front. And be like, uh, I my mom and and she was here and <laughs> and it's like. Was it an instance where each time you got lost, you just like found it was for found your like, parents like, like five seconds? Yeah. Like they were in like the next like aisle or whatever. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> I, yeah, because I, my mom was really freaking out. I guess, like, that was the only time, really. And it was maybe that's why it was extra scary when it happened. But, yeah. like, I remember she was freaking out way more than seemed appropriate because, like, it was, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> but I was like, oh, damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Getting out of jail. Oh, yeah. Hey, we Sonic, doing... I want your D. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Amy's yeah. thought process all the time. <laughs> all the time, all the time. She is obnoxiously one dimensional. Yeah. Why for me? My whole character Amy. my whole character is based around you. <laughs> Amy, go you Amy, you could do so much good just on your own. Just you just do you. She's you like, don't... okay. Slowly like just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Like if Sonic dies in a horrible like speeding accident. <laughs> He like, she just slowly d dissolves. Oh, God. But the I wonder if there's like a Amy Rose like bootleg, where it's just Amy Rose is the main character. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but it still uses like, it uses like a ton of repeats of her lines. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she just like says the same things each level. Oh, yo, oh, the shoes. Fuck. The shoes though. Yeah. What do those do again? It's the light dash shoes. You can go through the, go through the rangs. The rangs. Light shoes. He's like, holy shit. Oh wow. Oh, oh, These wow. fit better than Look anything I've ever found at Foot Locker. <laughs> <laughs> Foot Locker man. Oh man. <laughs> it's Foot Locker is one of those phrases that if it wasn't a store, it would be terrifying out of context. It's like this. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. First death. Cause I, if you could, if you just hear the word Foot Locker, I feel like you picture a locker full of feet, and that's scary. Oh man! Open up a locker and it's just... Oh man! I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. And I said it. <laughs> Shit! This shit is tense. This metal harbor is metal as fuck. Metal as fuck. Metal AF. Man, and you, you, you're in a band. We should talk about that. Oh, yeah. 
Would you? Is your band a metal band? Does it count? Yeah, uh, yeah. we're. That's. I mean, that's like the generalized thing. Like people that like don't know like specific like <clears throat> genres. It's like, yeah, we're like metal basically. Yeah. You're like, oh, cool. <laughs> like Breaking Benjamin? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Although I love Breaking Benjamin though. They are. Great. I can't. Yeah, I can't help but like Breaking Benjamin. They're uh, they're coming out with a new album this year. Oh really? Which is like super awesome. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, because I didn't really like their. Uh, I mostly like their first two. Yeah. I don't really. I really liked. I wasn't um, super fond of their more recent ones. I really liked whatever um, Diary of Jane was on. Yeah, that one is good. But, yeah. That's, uh, that was the first album that I listened to uh, by them. But no, we're not like Breaking Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> your it's, band. Um, well, t- what is your band's name? Uh, Harper. We're yeah. called Harper. Um, we are a post hardcore band, like a mathy post hardcore band. Nice. Is kind of what we would. I guess describe ourselves as. Yeah. Um, it's always interesting to hear how people describe. Yeah. Their biz. Yeah, I don't like to really like put it as a genre. I mean, we're well, obviously something, yeah. but it's like you know, it's I think people describe their band's genre just so that people can like get like a point of reference. For, yeah. You know, it's confusing because it's like that with anything you do is yeah. like if you say that you're worried about putting some sort of expectation on it, but like. And that is can seem negative if you have a certain view of it. Yeah. But like at the same time, people kind of want you to give them an expectation of it. Yeah. So it's kind of a weird balance. Exactly. But yeah, we're a post hardcore band and we play loud music and there's screaming and yeah. whittly diddly guitar parts and such. <laughs> whittly diddly. And it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So shit yeah, man. Have you listened to it yet? Have I've I listened to you? a little bit of yeah. it. Yeah. So Not that, as much that as was, I should have. That was, well it was music that by now, well, we came up. The EP came out uh, last year around April, uh-huh. and um, I so the music is like super old. Like the music that I write now is definitely like still kind of like the same idea, but a uh-huh. lot more like complex and a lot more like um, well put together. I would say nice. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe that. Yeah, when, like my writing's like this now, and <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I feel you. But yeah, so we're we're. We've got some plans going on. Um, not really like touring and all that. I feel like what the trap that a lot of bands fall into is like um, they get really excited about touring, you know? Yeah. The touring idea and all that. But it's like, you know, you can't, if you're like constantly touring as like a young band, you know, it's like you can't sustain that. And yeah. So bands end up losing a ton of money and then having to like take a big break from like playing shows because they just don't like have any money to do it yeah. and so it's like yeah. like i remember matthew he's our um our vocalist and kind of uh leads us with all the like um all the technical side of things with all the like you know booking shows and all that because he's he he um, majored in like um music booking and like all that kind of stuff like management yeah and so the fun things yeah the fun things which <laughs> no i like i really like enjoy it like yeah learning that stuff from him but it's like like our plan is just to play a lot of shows in like the tennessee area and like some other cities but not to actually go on like big tours and all that yeah so that way you can kind of control it more probably yeah oh god sonic and shadows first wait (laughs) oh no the island's blowing up similar to ethan's veins (laughs) (laughs) nailed it nailed it (laughs) that's a fucking segue if i've ever done one (laughs) It was beautiful. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> Two sonic levels in a row. What is it, Chris? <laughs> oh. Oh, the shadow level that's on in the jungle. To, is yeah, that's right. Favorite. There's the shadow version of this. It's also got this really cool music that has like weird vocal samples you can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's like, oh yeah. So it's Creed? <laughs> it's Creed, right? <laughs> A lot of the times when I sing, it just becomes Creed. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, well, I'm glad you think so. It worries uh, me a little bit. that it just That's what, come out, what comes out of me. Because Creed is not... <laughs> I'm not a pro-Creed person. You know? I think I like Creed just to kind of like poke fun at them. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fun. It's like, oh, you can't just like hate Creed. It's like because it's yeah. Creed, though. It's fun. It's fun it's... to listen to a Creed song for like thirty seconds and yeah. be like, ha. <laughs> it's fun to listen to Creed and be, like, I'm six feet from the edge. <laughs> 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 
I've always liked that because it sounds like he's literally just standing next to the ledge and describing it. It's and like, taking a shit off it. Because <laughs> he always, he's I'm always. six feet from the. Uh. <laughs> Scott Stepp is always taking a shit when he's in the recording booth. He's, it sounds like he's like, I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking, uh, maybe six feet. <laughs> It's so far down. <laughs> so far it's down. Like, Holy shit, that is a long drop. It's just descriptive. Because I love the mm, maybe six feet. <laughs> oh, yo, that was a chow box shit. back there. Hey, just go back. I think. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh hey, yeah. Pro. <laughs> this is pro gaming right here. Pro gaming. We're doing a um a hacked speed run on our next video. Sonic. <laughs> Similar it to. It is <laughs> five minutes long. Oh, oh have you have you ever seen pro. um a speed run of Ocarina of Time? I maybe. It is fucking crazy. Isn't there like a new record that's 25 minutes or something? It's like eight, like 15 minutes or something. Like something <laughs> like really crazy. That's incredible. Yeah, to think someone could just like take the experience you have of, of being a child and and condense it down to 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take take months and years of life experience. Yeah. <laughs> no, that yeah, it's I, interesting. I used to think soup's interesting. I used to think that like speed runs were just like you know, it, it was without all the like glitches and all that. It's like, well, this person actually finished Ocarina of Time yeah. in 15 minutes. I was like, how is that possible? And yeah. like sans exploits and things. Yeah. And then I actually watched the video. I was like, okay. That's still like <laughs> really cool, but holy crap. Oh, that was weird as Whoa. fuck. Jesus, so we're all, we're already glitching. <laughs> already, well, that wouldn't be a Sonic game. It wouldn't be a 3D Sonic game if we didn't encounter some glitches. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm grinding on this now. Okay. It's like you just, you just gotta, radical. You just gotta commit to whatever happens, but sometimes it's scary. <laughs> I love the uh, the words they use when you rack up like a point combo or whatever. Like you get 600. No. It's like radical. Yeah. You get 800. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's like you know you know <laughs> what year this game came out when you see those words. Yeah, you could also any of the words you could use to describe the combos in Sonic Adventure 2, you could also use to describe a Sum 41 song. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. I'm glad you don't have to pick when to let go of that. Oh yeah, god, that'd be awful. Yeah, okay. Nice. Awesome. I was worried for a minute there. All right, I'm thinking that we got an E. I'm saying e. D. E for easy. I'm saying the, it's a D. Getting the D. Aww. Shit. Barely made it. We barely made it. Hey, we did it. We barely made it. <laughs> <laughs> why did e you, positive. Why did you say, ah, oh, you're the one who guessed E? Well, because it's still an E, though. It's like... <laughs> you were guessing negatively? Yeah. Mm, I feel you. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> This is exciting. This Episode is two, we got the Chow Garden. That's awesome. That was like all I wanted. Next up, three hour long episode on just the Chow Garden. <laughs> yes. Don't even finish the game. Oh. Just the rest of it is, oh man. Little Chow Babies. I brought you drives and animals. Oh, the Game Boy Advance, like the old one. Man, I I remember <laughs> my um my dad bought me a Game Boy Advance when I was like, like right when it came out. Uh huh. And I like never played it either because I didn't like have any like I think I had a game for it, but I never like played it. Yeah. It's like, what is? I remember like for some reason being like, no, I want the Game Boy Color. Like that's that's what my friends have. I don't want yeah. this whatever this shit is. <laughs> it was like seriously what I thought because I I didn't know. I was like, what is this? <laughs> you were you were like, I want the outdated thing I because the, that's what everyone yeah. else has. That makes sense. I mean, like that's that it's just like that's a very kid brain thing. Yeah. Just rocking a bye baby. He'll open by the next episode, right? Probably. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. That, that's a, that looks a, like a very easy egg to hatch. You look like an easy egg. Oh, thank you. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thank you or oh? oh. <laughs> we're going to look like easy eggs in the next episode, too. And that's where we're going to say hi to this beautiful thing. Going to cook it up and eat it. Rock a bye bye baby. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>